y'all. We're getting ready to call. We're going to call Bodie from California. You can say a lot of things, but you guarantee Bodie going to keep it 100. What's going on, Mr. Bodie? JJ the boss. What's up, baby? Yeah, I can't call it. Uh, I got you on live feed here. I'm, we we talking about a little bit of discovery and street outlaw fastest in America racing. Oh, shit. That's my kind of conversation. All uh right. -huh. I invited y'all this year, and y'all showed up, like I said. I, one thing about Bodie, I said, you might can beat him or whatever, or he beat you, but I said, you're going to keep it gangster, and you're going to keep it 100. Uh, That's for sure. When I invited you, when I invited, y'all give me a second, little Junior right there. Oh, uh, When I invited you and Callie out this year to Fastest in America, I said, we're going to do it out there, and where we do it at? Um, uh, Wyoming. On a concrete street. On a concrete street. And we all got together in the beginning, and we made we all agreed to the rules. We made a time limit, made everything that stood for everybody, and then we agreed the last few races we're going to move them up because we're trying to see who real street. Right. And we all agreed to it, and I done exactly like we all agreed to. That's right. You definitely get that. I didn't change the rules up in the middle of it. I didn't do anything. I done exactly as a race master what we all agreed to. Do you agree with that? I, I definitely agree with that. You kept it 100. You said what the rules was going to be, and that was the rules throughout. All right. And then when it got down to the very end, and uh, uh, we moved the road up 60 or 80 foot, and Nola raced Black Sheep Mafia, right? Right. Then we moved it up again when Nola raced Memphis, right? Right. All right. That's what I that, and keeping it a hundred. Here's what I said. Uh, if you know anything about the street, you know, a part of claiming a street racer is that you can race anywhere, anytime, anybody, place. I race with a flashlight. I race with an arm drop. If you want to put somebody out there and the first one pick their nose and dig and pull out a green booger, we take off. As long as I know it. As long as you understand what the tips is, it's a go. Like you say, you're right. You know, that's all. We're going to do it again this year, so be ready, okay? But we're going to... Okay. The cry babies and the whiners, if, when they sign up for something, tell them don't tell no black lie, don't tell no white lie, don't tell no lie. Keep it 100. That's right. Keep it 100. That's what we say. We put the rules out there, and if they show up, they show up. And, and, and you can't do nothing about the cry babies. They're going to cry no matter what we race out. The crowd baby's going to cry every time, just like you said. You know, I couldn't believe, you know, everybody, you know, I, I love everybody. I don't got no problem with nobody. And, you know, you know, the ones that's going to cry and whine, they're going to cry and whine. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's now, I said, that kind of hit me when, when the one dude got on there and told, told a bold-faced lie and said that I made them line up. I made them line up and gave them a certain amount of time they couldn't get their cars tuned or anything. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's far from the truth. That's far from the truth, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I just let them go on, tell their little stories, and let them, let them put themselves out there. I said, I ain't even entertaining. I said, I'm going to wait. Let them just see how far. Cause a lot of times, you know, people will jump on there and talk, talk a bunch of old, old bull, and as long as you don't correct them, they'll stop. But if you let them go, they'll think they're getting away with it. So I let them go. I said, I'm going to just let them, let them stick it out there. That's right. <laughs> All right, then. We're going to holler at you, Bodie, and you, you, you keep it 100. We'll see you again, and check okay, us let out. let me know. Uh, we, we, we ready, so let me know what I got to do, and we'll be there. All right. You know what? You, I done beat you out a few dollars, and you done beat me out a few dollars. You beat me out of, you beat us out, me and Memphis, out of 15, 20,000. What I do when you beat me? You gave the money respectfully and came back ready to race again. Right. I don't make up no bunch of excuses or lies or say you did this uh, or say... You know, let them. You kept it 100. It wasn't no argument. But when, when gentlemen and real men race, man, that's how it goes. It goes smooth, man. You know what it is. You put your back down. At the end of the day, you walk off. You ain't never heard me on TV do no fine about nothing. I lost you there for a second, Bodie. Yeah, like I said, you ain't never seen me do no complaint or fine about nothing. If I show up, the rules is what they are. I'm going to run it. If I don't want to run it, I'm going to choose not to. But I ain't going to run it and then do no crime. That ain't going to happen.
Yeah, that's what I said. I said, I can't see how somebody can get on there and tell a pack of lies. And, you know, you know, cry baby's going to cry. You know that. I ain't got to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? But, right. you know, how the, the other man going to get on there and tell her, you know, how Nola going to jump on there and tell them pack of lies. And then how I make you do anything. If I made you do something, then you ain't no man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I bet you you ain't never say, J.J. the boss say, uh, oh, we lost because he made me do that. Man, if you a man, ain't nobody going to. If you a man or a woman, I bet you. I tell you what, I bet you. We got the queen. The queen sitting right there cooking up something. I don't know what she cooked. Queen, can anybody make you do anything? Ain't nobody make me do nothing. You know, how they going to make you do something? Yeah, ain't nobody gonna make nobody do nothing. You know, if you do, you ain't you soft. Yeah, yeah, you be on soft. All right, much respect, Bodie, to you and Callie. We're gonna holler at y'all. Okay, homie. All right, y'all. That's the second interview that we <laughs> own. Uh, how how the fastest in America works is I invite a bunch of teams, me and the, and the leaders of the team. Get there, we talk about the rules, we discuss them, we all agree to it. You know, you gotta, whoever the race master is, he gotta try to keep it where it's real for each and every one. Oh, uh, you know. It's a hard job trying to keep it, trying to put on a race in the streets, you know, because you got your people that are real street and they real gangsters, and you gotta watch how you call something. You gotta keep it 100, because if you call some old, some old trick stuff or some old stuff that's bunk, Hey, man, them people going to be ready to fight you and, and take it to a different level. And then you got your other people that really ain't street. All they are is crap babies and whiners. And, and, you know, they really belong somewhere else. But they out there and they going to whine and cry. You know what I'm saying? And so you damned if you do and you damned if you don't. And I ain't tripping. Either way, I could care less, you know. And hear what I got to say. Man, what happened? Where had Nolo went until I invited him? They show got canceled. They, 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 was, they done, done completely fell off. You know, completely fell off. You know, and then they, they, so they go to the no prep and they're doing a little no prep racing. They doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I tell you what they're doing. You know it yourself. Just listen to the interviews. That's going to tell you everything, you know. And I invite them, and they make a ton of money, more money than they could have ever made anywhere else, you know. And But then they're going to get on and tell a pack of lies. At least just the ones on. that the world thought would have been on our talking trash, like Bobby DeCody. I'm going to say this much about Bobby. He's a great guy. He talk a lot of trash. He going to talk a lot of trash. But now, Bobby, I don't see Bobby getting on there telling a bold-faced lie. Bobby don't do it. I didn't expect. 